Hello everyone, welcome back, and today we're doing a small tutorial on how to use the new Firehose system in your C because it is a bit confusing for newer players, so we're just going to show you how to use this fully. So first things first, you're going to want to come over here and spawn in a vehicle like we've done. So this needs to be an engine, a tanker, any of those larger vehicles um, that have these attachments on the side. So if you spawn in a pickup truck or a Tahoe, that won't work, but uh, if you're new to the game, then any of the unlockable cars will work. I've got the tanker spawned in here, Ollie has the engine, and we're going to be using this for our example today. Looking at our MDT here, there is a fire that's just been started, I've just started a fire over near the prison, so we're going to go and respond to this, and how to use the fire hoses. So we just pulled up here, and what we're going to want to do is locate our nearest hydrant, which in this case is just over here, red things sticking out of the ground, probably notice them pretty easily. So when you come over to this, you're going to go ahead and get a supply discharge. So on PC, that would be E, hold down E, and this is quite far away, so we'll just do 250 feet there. But you can choose the appropriate length. If it's pretty close to your vehicle, you can choose a shorter length, uh, like 50 feet. But let's run this back to our vehicle here. We're going to drag this back, and you can see it gets uh, slightly tighter there. And we'll go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and plug this in to the back here. So as you can see, it plugs into the back there. There. and then on the engine I believe it plugs into the side maybe anyways you can see it attaches to this part of the engine here which is the supply intake so we're gonna hold down G and attach that and that is now attached you can see here Ollie's actually going to attach my tanker to his engine there so as you can see he's attached that so now any water pressure coming from the hydrant is going to come in to my tanker and go also to his engine. So both of our vehicles will be top top. Now heading inside the vehicle, there's a button on the left hand side called water pump. You can head inside here and check the water level of the vehicle. So how much water there is in the vehicle. You can see there's a little kind of color chart on both sides and it shows you how much water there is inside of the vehicle. And currently we are full, so that's good. What we're now going to want to do is we're going to want to head over here and we're going to get an attack line. So hold down F and we have an attack line. Um, this house fire is pretty close, so we'll just go 100 feet, which gives us enough kind of uh, length to maneuver around the house. And now we've got the attack line. Hold down and spray the fire. Now you can see here, if you want to drop it, all you've got to do is take it out of your inventory. So in my case, it's in inventory slot six, press six, and it will drop out of my inventory there onto the ground. And we can go and either pick it up or discard it. We'll leave it there for the moment. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna detach the supply intake. Uh, we'll go ahead and actually remove this hose there. And I'm gonna show you how the level, the water levels decrease as you use it. Now for the sake of this demonstration, we're not using any uh, fire protection SCBA mask, no, we're, we're fine for the time being anyways. Um, but I would advise if you are in a roleplay server at least, making sure you use SCBA or even in a public server because you can actually get damaged. We're not going to go inside the building today. I'm just showing you how the water level decreases on the side there. We're just going to keep uh, spraying around, but you can see here mine is actually still in the green, whereas Ollie's, because, well, his is an engine, not a tanker, uh, just full of water, you can see his is now only in the blue. The green is turned to a grey there. So no one's really tested this, but I'd say you probably have two to three minutes of water flow before this completely runs out. Um, but definitely attached to a hydrant, it is very, very useful. Now, pretend I didn't use a command, but once you're finished with this, you can just go and drop this, hold F to discard that, and you need to make sure all of the lines are removed from your vehicle before you're able to move again. As you can see, all the lines are removed, so we're able to move again. And by the way, quick uh, heads up, you can get multiple attack lines for one vehicle. So as you can see, I can get one on the side here. I can get one on the side here and drop that there. And Ollie's actually got one there. So you can see on the tanker, at least, you can get three attack lines. That's more people than you can actually fit in the vehicle. So it's a really nice feature the developers have added and allows more players to be able to use one vehicle uh, in case they've arrived in a vehicle that doesn't support this, let's say. Anyways, hope this helps you out in using the new fire hose system in Emergency Response Liberty County. Really great system developed by the developers and hopefully we can see more improvements and additions to make it even more realistic in the future.